welcome to microsoft power power automate training videos in this video we'll discuss what is instant flow and also we'll discuss how to get the multiple items from a sharepoint list and uh, we have a odata filter query concept and we'll discuss how to filter the data when we are getting from an azure point list and once we get the data and we'll use a apply each loop to loop each and every item for example if you want to update any data or if you want to update a multiple items using uh, uh, using microsoft power automate flow so we can use this apply each to loop through the items that will discuss for that i'm going back to the make that power automate.com here when you click this new flow we can able to see an instant cloud flow or when you try to create uh, from this create option you can see this instant cloud flow option so this is something like an a manual flows uh, if, if you want to if you want to start a flow uh, based on user or maybe manual interaction so you can use this instant cloud flow you can see the triggered manually as needed so whenever it requires you can start the flow this instant flows so i'm clicking this one i'm giving a flow name called uh, get data and here we have uh, different options for the manual instant flows also one is manually trigger a flow so you can start manually uh, clicking on a button or you can directly start from the power automate so the next one is power apps from the power apps button or when a power app starts and you want to trigger any flow you can able to trigger and this is for the power virtual agent calls and uh, this is uh, when a flow step in run from a uh, business uh, there is some statement is there business process flow and from the microsoft teams also you can able to start the flow from onedrive also you can able to start a flow and we have a power bi button click also option is available and in sharepoint especially based on a selected file or a selected item or uh, when a site is requested to join in a hub site and we have uh, dynamics 365 related manual trigger and for excel related and uh, we have http request http webhook also available and from the microsoft dataverse point you can able to start and from power virtual agent again and we have power apps and power apps v2 we'll discuss difference between this power apps and power apps v2 as well and we have uh, when an http request is received option also available in the manual flow but i'm taking this manually trigger a flow and click create now here the trigger action is manually trigger a flow and uh, after that and here we'll discuss uh, how we can pass the inputs in the upcoming videos now i'm taking a new step here um, i'll use this get items action select this get items action and uh, i'll select the same uh, site here modern site for demo and i'll take a list here i have a couple of different lists now this point of time i'll take a departments list and before taking the departments list and i'll uh, open the departments list first so we have uh, plenty of data here i hope uh, we have more than 20 items here now i'll click cancel what happened i don't know now i'm taking this departments and then we have a lot of options but it's not uh, required uh, we'll discuss about this one a bit later now here it is a get items call now uh, the flow is showing some warning updating an action get items. so there is some warning but uh, it's not required uh, to test now we don't have any errors i hope i just taken this site and just taken this list now i'll save this flow now we 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 have manually trigger one and uh, we have get items one so updating action get items to use or data filter query can improve okay no problem we'll use the or data filter query later first we'll test this one we only have one action here one trigger action and one action under this one so if you want to test this one you can manually test from here if you select this manually and click test and then click continue and after that you can able to see a run flow option 
click run flow and then click done now these two actions are successful when you click this one you can able to see the inputs here so one is site address the second one is list name the list name is departments and here you can able to see the outputs and if you want to get the outputs here it is not showing but here we have only one option click to download when I click this one and uh, the output is showing in the JSON format I don't want to see the headers I, I want to see the values which is available so which is array of values which is showing up here now I'll minimize this uh, items we have plenty of items here uh, I'm minimizing the items we, we got the information as well and we'll expand one and we'll see those now we have more than uh, 20 items which are available here you can you can able to see the number here so we have uh, 23 total 20, 24 items are available including 0 0 to 23 which is total 24 items now if you expand any one of these item you can able to see the data here which is like id title department name and the software and uh, which is i think uh, which is a management data column now we have a author author related information editor related information and editor claims also available and some thumbnails available link is available so this total information which is coming from this sharepoint list and we got all the 24 items you can able to see we got all 24 items but this point of time i don't want to get all the items from here now i want to get only the items which are related to sales in the department name now i'll click this one i'll click edit now when you click this show advanced options we have plenty we already discussed about limit entries to a view earlier but uh, which is in a folder for example if your list contains any folders and if you want to limit to that and you can able to limit to that specific folder but i don't want to do that so if you want to include the nested items which is inside folder you can include now here we have ordered by if you want to order the items with a specific uh, you know entry you can do and you want to display only top like number of entries like i want to get only 10 items i want to get only 20 items you can limit that one with a number for example if i give 10 and then and uh, if i test this one and uh, with a manually save and test click run flow now click done now uh, we got uh, output again i close this earlier one now i have this uh, values i'll minimize this um, headers so i can I'll try to show the items count here we have eight and we have nine so total ten items only which is displaying so this way you can able to limit the number as well using that option which only returns top ten items but I don't want this I'll remove this one but I want to filter query here so I have uh, here the department name is a field and uh, I'll try this depart so which contains a space I'll use depart name which is equals to I'll take sales here now when you come back here you can able to see department name but it it might not correct because it, we have a space in the display name and if we have a same space in the internal name so it will work or otherwise it will not return the results so I'll take this one now I'll try to uh, run this and uh, I'm trying to save and if you run this flow we'll see the flow is failed and we are getting a name as column sales does not exist it may have been deleted by another user but sales is not a column uh, when I come back to here and click this one go to list settings and here we have a department name field when you click this one the internal name of this field is if you come back here you can able to see there is no space here so it will not take like this so i'll remove this single quote and uh, 
I'll remove the space here and I'll remove this single quote after the name. So now what I'm trying to do is the department name is equal to sales. Now try to test this one and take manually and use save and test and uh, click run now. Click done. Now at this point of time also which is like uh, column sales does not exist it may have been deleted by another user we are getting a same same type of error i have given this department name is equal to sales and uh, dpt name so we'll check it out the name which we are passing is correct or not yes it's correct now what i'll do is i'll take a single quote here now we'll try to test this one okay so this time your flow ran successfully and click this get items and click this output in the json format we are getting the header and we are getting the values as well now we have total three four five six six items we have so to check that one you can come back to your list and click this departments and here i'll try to filter this one i'll use this filter by and select this sales and click apply now total we have three plus three six items the output also giving the same count total six items we are getting into this now we got the items now i want to loop through i want to update an item for example here we have a, a software field and we have data info field i will try to update this data info field so for that what i'll do is now i'm going back here and i'll try to edit this one take a new step i'll directly take this update item concept if i take this update item concept now it is asking for the site address site address i'll take this one and uh, list name i'll take this uh, department but when it is coming to the id before updating now if i take directly from the get items now i have an id if i select this id now you can see apply to each is automatically created here either you can take like this or manually you can use this add an action you can type for apply apply to which you can take this control as well so whatever the way you want to take you can able to take or if you take the value from this get items also it automatically takes apply to each and this value is coming from this get items now here it will uh, for example if it is looping through the first item it will take a first id if it is looping second time it will take the second item so now in this i just want to take the title would be same and the department name is here and uh, the data info value which actually i want to update all the values with the string that's it i'm not going to update anything in the software value and uh, if you click this show advanced options nothing gonna show so you have department name and uh, yeah that's it if you hide it only the view concept like this column is limit limit column by view is not showing that's it other other columns are showing now i'll save this one first and we'll test how it works your flow is ready to go and we recommend you to test it and I'll click this one manually click test and then click run now and click done now apply to each taking time and this is successfully completed this is successfully completed and this one also successfully completed now you can able to see the count here so the first one is one out of six and total six items we have discussed just before uh, with this one and now we have total six items the first one is successfully updated the second one also successfully updated and the third one like this all this successfully updated now you can able to see the inputs which is a site address list name is department id is 12 and the title of that item is 4 and data info value is string the output also you can able to see here the id of the item is 12 the title is 4 department name is sales 
and department name for the value which is updated with a string and everything which is appearing here if you want to check that you can able to check here and all the sales related stuff and all the sales related data info is change it to string and if you want to see all the items and you can remove the filter from here and uh, I'll remove filter from here I'll unselect this one or you can click clear all and then click apply now the most of the places like where the sales is available and you can able to see the data info is updated with a string now this one this one is sales string this one is sales string and this one also sales and which is a string and uh, yeah up to here only we have uh, sales so this way what we can do is if you want to get a multiple items from an list you can use this get items if you are not passing any filter query and it will get all the items from the data source either maybe sharepoint list or it might be a sql table or it might be a database table it will take all the items but get items we are taking on a sharepoint option so you have to pass the sharepoint but each and every like for a sql also we we have an option to get all the items from the table for a database table also we have an option to get all the items and here if you want to get from an, a specific folder you can get and if you want to include the nested items which is in the subfolders so you can able to select this one and then it, it contains two properties one is no another one is yes if you select yes it will take a, a nested uh, values also from the folder and this is the odata filter query and here you have to pass your column name and you have to pass your logical operator here and then uh, the value you, you have to pass here and if you want to order the data by a specific uh, a field and you can order by and you can take the top count which means you want to get only two items or only three items you can use top count that we tested with the uh, 10 items and uh, if you want to limit the items by a specific view if you already created a specific view in a sharepoint list and you want to utilize that uh, filtered view or a normal view you can able to use this here and after that if you are getting a multiple items and you want to call each item once and and then you want to do any action on it and you have to use apply to each concept so which means it will loop through all the items which we got from this get items for example if you have a get items here and you have another um, another uh, action before that also you can able to use utilize that but here you need to select the value from the get items so so then only it will loop through this get items uh, action i uh, get items returned items or otherwise if you have any other action before that also you can able to utilize that as well and finally we have used update item so it will loop through uh, it will loop through the complete items the first item will update then next item then next item then next item until it completes all the items which, which we got from the get items so that is about how to get a multiple items and how to use the apply each and how to use the odata filter query in the upcoming videos we'll discuss about the variables and then we'll try to update uh, variables or we'll try to increment or decrement the variables based on the requirement.